When you're ready to apply the pattern, carefully square the image over the side of the block. The particular stencil I'm using in this video does not have a side that's up or down, but some patterns, such as the anchors on the ocean pattern, need to be oriented up. In that case, be sure to twist the block to make sure everything's right side up before applying paint. Lightly dip the squeegee into the paint color of your choice and gently scrape the stencil until the paint is smooth and even. Make sure every gap is filled. Remove to reveal your perfect image. It's helpful to continue applying the stencil sticker to the other side. This can be a little tricky. Avoid getting paint on your fingers, which could smear on the sides of the block. After you've finished applying the pattern to both sides, set the block on a star side to dry. If you find that holding the block in your hands is too tricky, then move on to another block that has two unpainted sides and apply it to one unpainted side while it rests on the table. Do as many of the pattern colors as you've chosen and then wash the stencil. Wait until the pattern on the other side is completely dry before flipping the block over and using the stencil again. You can either reuse the same stencil or cut out a fresh one. If you are reusing the same stencil, it's very important to make sure the stencil is completely dry. If there's any dampness, the paint will leak out and cause a halo effect on your image. But don't worry if that does happen. Check out the links below to see some videos where we show you how to quickly fix your toys if this happens. You might be wondering whether you can jump straight into using another color without washing out the stencil. The answer to that is yes. But you might have a little bit of color transfer when this happens. If you're okay with that, go ahead and switch out colors. You might find better luck if you follow up with a dark color after using a light color on the pattern. For instance, if I used rosy red after using the butter yellow on this pattern, I might have some subtle yellow streaks in the red, but they won't be very noticeable. But if I had done the reverse, using the rosy red and following it with the butter yellow, I would have noticed the red streaks in the yellow paint. That might be the effect that you want. In that case, have fun and be sure to share the results of your experiment with us in the Bridgewood Toy Makers group. You can find the link below. You're only two steps away from having playable toys and you are doing an excellent job.